Would anybody like a game of cards? Yes. Yay. Now, the only problem is, is that I can't play cards. I'm rubbish at playing cards. Well, I think I know how to play them, but I can never remember the rules. So I say to the whole of my family, let's have a game of cards. They say, yes. And I say, okay, let me just have a look online <laughs> for all of the rules. So then I start studying all of the rules and I get to number 24, rule number 24. And by that time, everybody's fallen asleep or they've gone in the garden. They've gone to do something else. Like, Doesn't anybody want to play cards? I say, no, we're fed up. So I say, okay, okay, let's have a game of Snap. <laughs> now, Snap is a traditional card game, a children's card game. It's the first card game that children learn um, especially in, 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 in the UK. When I was growing up, it was the first card game that I was introduced to. And I have found that it's very, very effective in teaching young language learners. And I'm going to be introducing to you this game of Snap today. So, <laughs> hello, I'm Miranda, and I teach young language learners English as a second language through drama. And today, as I said, I'm going to be introducing to you the game Snap. Now, um, introducing new games to children can be complicated because what you want to do, you want them, your students to be practicing English quickly. But if you have too many rules, like I mentioned before, you know, 24 rules for the card game, by the time you have introduced the game to children and you've spent half an hour explaining to them in English the rules as well, they have lost interest, they're bored, uh, they're fidgety, they want to do something else. And that is before you have even started playing. So it is really important when um, I'm introducing games to, to children, that the rules are really, really simple to understand and to get just like that. And Snap is great for this. Now, um, as you say, we're, as I said before, this is a game that is great for introducing numbers. So we're going to be practicing numbers with this, but I'll explain to you at the end of the, the game how you can apply it also for other vocabulary. And it goes like this. You're going to hold up the first card. You're going to get the children, you're going to, as a prompt, and you're going to get the children to say what number it is. You can even help them a little bit on your fingers if that helps. What number is it? Two. Yay! What number is it? And they're going to say, repeat, Five! Yes! Five! What number is it? Three! Yes! Number three! What number is it? I can't hear you! Number three! Yes! <gasps> three! Three! They're the same! They're the same! Three and three! That means it's a snap! Ah! And you get the, you're going to get the children, you're going to encourage them to put their hands down and shout out snap when two number cards, it doesn't matter about the, the pictures on there, but the two number cards are the same. So it's three and three. When they see two number cards the same, they're going to call out snap. The whole objective of the game though, is that they're going to be practicing the vocabulary. So it's great to say snap, but they're actually going to be practicing the numbers. So what number is it? I can't hear you. Number four, yes. What number is it? It's number four. <gasps> four. Four. Is that the same? Yes, it's the same. It is a snap. <laughs> and you're going to get them to shout out snap. When they do shout out snap, the first child that shouts out snap and they put their hands on the floor, yes, you're going to pick up the cards, the pile of cards, and you're going to pass that child, the winner of that pack of cards, the cards that they that has been won and, until that moment. So every time you say snap, you pick up the cards and you hand it to that child. So you're going through the cards and it's like an engaging game, but they're practicing the vocabulary. In this game, numbers, you're going to carry on. Now, what I recommend that you do is to pre-prepare your cards before you actually play the game so that you can guarantee that there are lots of pairs in your pack. Because otherwise, sometimes if you just shuffle the cards, you can go through like 26 cards without maybe finding one or two snaps, which gets a bit boring for children. So if you pre-prepare your pack and make sure that you have pairs together, that that 
you know at least they're going to be 10 times during the, the, the playing of the game that you're going to have 10 snaps. At the end of the game, you can encourage the children to count how many cards that they have and celebrate that they've collected their cards. If you're playing the game also online, um, obviously you can't give the children <laughs> the cards, but you can maybe pretend that you're passing them through the screen. That could be quite fun. And they can shout out snap and clap their hands together. Um, so this is the game. I have really simple, isn't it? It's the only rule I can remember, snap. That's the only card game I can remember. Today I've introduced it with number cards, but I often use different playing cards. I use the cards with animals, so not numbers, but with animals, with food, with vegetables. So you have a, um, an illustration or a photograph or for an apple, uh, and then you, you go through it, and then you have another apple, and you say, what is it? An apple. <gasps> Two apples. <gasps> yes, snap. So they're going to understand it by the illustration that is on the card. So you're going to get them to shout out, to call out what illustration is on the card. Not necessarily numbers, but anything you want. Colours, shapes, um, Halloween, Christmas, whatever vocabulary that you want to introduce, you have the illustration and you play Snap in that way. Really, really simple game, but the children like it because it is engaging and because you don't spend half an hour explaining the rules and losing their attention in the meantime while you're explaining it to them. Great little game. Snap! Yeah! <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please follow me. And until next time, remember, be theatrical!